Hello everybody and welcome to a Pixel Gun 3D video. This should be my first video with audio, if the audio comes through, but welcome to Pixel Gun 3D. Here is my ID, and here is my name if you'd like to come and friend me, and here is my clan, and there's the clan's ID if you'd like to um join the clan. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the new Pixel Gun 17.0 update. The clan's 2.0 beta, as you can see right here in the corner. So the second clan war starts in 39 hours because we actually completed a full first clan war for the Steel Division. I'll put my Instagram in the bio so you can um, see the pictures I posted of it. But this is our team so far, 41 out of 50. So we have more spots open. And um, if I go over here to the store and the weapons, there's the regular clan weapons. Then there's the Silver League clan weapons, which you get if your clan makes it to the Silver League. Which we actually got first place in our league, so that's really good for us. So um, I'm going to be going over the fort and the tank craft as good as I can. So this is the fort. Basically, you level up. Basically, you level up this blue bar up here in the top, I want to say, top left corner. There's a little bar there, and you get that by upgrading items. So, see the machine gun sentry right here? I'm going to upgrade it, and when it's done, it's going to give us 40 XP points in the top. And then, once you get to higher leagues, you upgrade, you get unlock more stuff like the guided missiles and the shotgun turrets. And in here, you can unlock the stream emitter and the electro mortar. And there's so much more things you can unlock. But here's the way you're going to want to set up your fort. So what I would recommend is first by getting rid of the poisonous plants, which usually spawn right here. And the other one spawns in one of these three spaces around here. One of the three spaces that I'm clicking. It spawns in one of those three. So what you want to first do is get rid of those and clear everything here so you have a clean slate then what i recommend is put two long range like maybe a missile station up here and a laser turret they're both really good choices because they're very strong also for your guards these are some of the best guards you can get if you go to the guard tab and it would stop doing that um the killer which is the um the winter soldier skin there's the legend in the middle and there's the pro on the side i've actually um tried versing these guys and they're actually very hard to beat and then you got your missile station and you got your um what's it called your laser turret and then when you go up here you have your first spawner which is the alien tank which i would put it right there so that if the people get really far during raiding your base they're gonna have a hard time getting through that and then down here i put the ghost cavalry i put another laser turret and i put a missile turret and then, this is the best spot to put a Tesla coil, because I'm going to show you in a second, and I'm going to do a tank test. But this actually shoots through the wall here, so you actually get hit. And you can put any turret here. Just make it a weaker turret so that, when you start out, make it a weaker turret so that they can destroy that turret and they get a false sense of security that they're going to beat your fort, because there's a really low level basic turret there. So now if we go move over to the tank section, basically the ideal tank loadout is, um, well, when you're in the, basically, you, you only get this tank, this tank, this tank, and this tank. But when you get to the Silver League, you unlock the nuclear, and you also unlock the beam cannon. The nuclear gives more points because it's a level 4, but the beam cannon is by far the best. That's why we have it equipped right now. But then you can also get turrets on your tank, so... Like in the front, we have a laser turret and a tank rocket launcher. On this side, we have a tank shotgun, which is um for the Silver League, and this tank homing missiles for the Silver League as well. But then on the other side, we have a tank machine gun, which actually I'm gonna upgrade that now. And then for gadgets, the ideal gadget setup for say you want your tank and your people to survive longer, you put your tank shield generator, which is Silver League, and the tank med thing on there, and that would give you the best load out for healing but if you don't want healing you could put the upgrader which makes your turret shoot further and your tank engine booster which makes your tank go faster 
So I'm actually going to go in here into a tank test to go and see so you guys can see how the fort works and how we set it up and show how fast that I'm going to die and probably and show you how the fort setup kind of works. So your best bet is that when you're pushing the ram or the tank, they call it now, is these blue things, this blue circle around here. If you stay in there, the tank shouldn't still move. So if I leave the circle, it stops. But if I'm in it, it works. So what's going to happen is you can see my tank's at 100% HP. So once we go up to this turret, also I'm going to show you the beam cannon. It's, um, see how it like shoots like a beam? It reminds, and there it is. There's the t clan legend. So I'm going to be 1v1ing him, I guess. Let's see how much health he has. And there you go. So if you use this setup, which, um, I'm going to add one more thing part of the video. I don't care about that. Um, to, to match my ideal setup that I made here, you're going to need to have your fort at level four and your tank at level three. And you're not, and you're going to want to have your laser turrets at level five, your missile station at level five, your, the guards don't really, doesn't really matter, but the killer's level four, just so you know, the monster tanks, level five, level four, um, yeah, so just keep them around those levels, and also a little other tip, these two in the back, like, the two, like, the laser turrets here, the one back here, I'm putting the laser turret now, don't put turrets back there. I would recommend putting your radar station on one of them and your teleporter on the other so that those are main protected and that they'll probably survive the longest so that when you're defending your fort from the monster attacks, you'll be safe. So that's my review on the update. If you would like me to do a review on the offer shop, the new weapons, the gifts, and the um, new skins, comment and say yes. And also like the video if you'd like me to do it as well. That's going to be 